Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to stream Farm together. I've covered this game many times before, but the game recently left early access, so I wanted to take a quick look at it and see what the quote-unquote finished game looks like. Let's just go ahead and jump into it. For those of you that have never seen me cover this before, it's sort of like a Facebooky manage your own farm kind of game, but... It's cutesy nature and multitude of different items, the leveling up system. All of it's just fantastic, I think, and keeps me coming back. Um, I generally don't play games like this because I don't have the time to do it. But on occasion, I do like to drop by, jump in, harvest a few plants, jump back out. And that's the beauty of this game. You can do as little or as much as you want. You could spend thousands of hours tearing down your farm, rebuilding it. Tearing it down again, rebuilding it, tearing it down again, rebuilding it for hours, days, weeks. Uh, or you could just be like me and have like two plots on your land and grow an apple. Something. I don't, you could, whatever. You, you do what you want to do. But anyway, so you can take a look at, uh, apparently... Idly is coming on. Okay. Um, there's my farms, find farms, customize, settings, extras, and exit. All right. So under settings, we've got game, language, show tutorial, expert mode, which I'm not sure what that is. Text chat censored. Okay. Video screen resolution, quality, full screen, VSync, advanced settings. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Depth of field, motion blur disabled, the way I like it. Controls, typical WASD controls. You can also customize your keyboard and your mouse. And yes, I've, I've shown you guys this before, but like I said, this is the quote-unquote finished game. So I like to revisit this so you can see what you're getting should you buy it. Voice chat settings push to talk, so there is just... Receive only, disabled, open mic, push to talk. So there's a multitude of different options there. Music, I do have that off for the sake of the commentary and to prevent copyright issues. Okay, so let's jump into my farm real quick. Well, actually, let's take a look at the extras and the customized features first. All right, so under farmer, you can choose your sex, male or female. And after that, you can choose your height. I'm kind of short, so I guess this will work. Skin tone, you can adjust that. What's the pastiest white I can possibly get? That would be me. I guess. Okay, hair color. I've got like a dark brown going. It's kind of light. There's no darker brown than that. Well, you get the idea. You can, you can choose between many different hair colors here. Um, eye color, I'll just stick with the blue. Next one over, you can choose your outfit. That plaid, eh, not feeling that one. I kinda like that one. Although if there was, apparently, okay, so this is what, a fireman? This is me going to work. Jeff Ramsey, I, I, sure. I mean, this is more realistic to me in real life, but uh, in game, you know, if you can't pretend, then why, why bother? So, yeah, this will, this will work. I kind of like the, I kind of like the the handkerchief scarf thing going. You can choose like dirty face. Um, now it's important to note that my press copy came with the supporters pack. The supporters pack is two dollars on Steam. It includes uh, some extra goodies like uh, a male and female look or something like that, and uh, possibly a tractor or something or other. I don't know specifically what it in includes, but there's extra stuff. And according to Nev in chat, the supporters pack is awesome. Let's go with the beard. Now that I'm sporting one myself, I mean, it just makes sense to have one. Although, that's too much. I, I kind of like that. And what hairstyle would I like? I mean, the, the basic one's fine, honestly. I'm not a big hat person. Now, these stars are like your... 
profile as as you do anything around your farm you're gonna gain more experience and level up your profile and as you do that you're gonna unlock more things um i mean that that matches that outfit but i, I kind of like i kind of like that better glasses well, that fits me now. I mean, I, I did get new frames recently, so this just makes more sense. Sure. I mean, or I can just pretend like I'm looking at everything in 3D, which I already am. And lastly, you can choose between different backpacks. Um, again, many things here. Some of it may be part of that supporters pack. I'm not sure. All right, I, I kind of like that. Okay. So, it looks like you guys have seen everything. I'm guessing what's in purple might be the supporters pack. I'm guessing. Alright, well, we'll save. There's different emotes. Uh, you can have up to four active at a time. You just click on one, and then you choose an emote that you want to bring with you into the game. Plenty of different ones. I'll just keep my default. That's fine. Hey. Yes, hi. Hi. Um, there's about 13 people on Bess's farm. Okay, well, we'll go to Bess's farm in a little bit. Okay. Um, Just letting you know. Thank you. Oh, sorry. So, tractors. You can choose between different tractors. Um, I, this is the one I've always been using. I kind of have this Scrooge McDuck little item on top there. Or if you just want to be like Spider-Man, you can do that. You can choose your main color and your secondary color. I kind of like that one. Yep, yeah, so you can do like coin, you can do an apple, strawberry. I guess that's cotton. I'll, I'll stick with the Scrooge McDuck kind of thing. But you can see there's a number of things to unlock and equip. Pet. Okay, so you can choose between a number of different dogs and cats. I mean, it's nothing too fancy. Um, and again, you unlock more as you go. But it uh, looks like there's like Siamese cats. There's German Shepherd dogs. And because I have a German Shepherd myself, this dog will suit me just fine. Pointed ears and all. Collar. You can choose between different colors. Um... I kind of like that one. I like the, the color scheme on that. I'm not a fan of the spikes. Like, I like how bright that is. Alright, we'll stick with that. And then, the item on their collar. So, you can have, like, a little dog bone. You can He can be Batman, I guess. Uh, or Bat Dog, in this case. Octopus. I guess it's a, a festive Halloween thing. All right, and size, I, mean, I guess you can make them Chihuahua size, but why would you do that to a German Shepherd? Collar, color, detail color, eye color. Okay, farm hands. Now, this is something that I haven't unlocked yet. Supposedly, you'll be able to spend, I think it is ribbons, which is sort of like a premium currency, but don't worry, you don't have to spend real money in order to get it. Um, these farm hands will manage so many tiles around them. I don't remember the exact dimensions. It might be like 11 by 11 or something like that or something similar. But 13 by 13. Thank you. 13 by 13. I was close. But yeah, they manage a certain plot of area around them and they water and they harvest. They don't plant. But yeah, you can choose your farmhand outfit here. It's just a shame. It doesn't look like you can actually choose anything more than that. Like you can't customize their sex. You can't customize... Anything like that. It's just you pick their outfit. I'm guessing the way they look is randomized whenever you spawn one. Okay. So let's check out my farm first. And then we'll go to someone's that's a bit more involved. Because, you know, you guys should be able to see the content too. I, admittedly, I'm not as far ahead as some other people are. Daily reward. So, there's three types of currencies in this game. There's gold that you get, or coins. Then there's gems, and then there's ribbons. Ribbons being the rarest. So, different buildings give you different things. And for the most part, these buildings... Um, well, you can turn in crops. Uh, every time you collect something... And let me activate my tractor. If you hit V, that activates your tractor. And it covers a 3x3 three three area. Like in... 
like in, say, Farmville or whatever, um, you can plant different crop types. And these crops um, go toward a specific inventory item. So if I hit tab, you can see on the very bottom of my screen that there's like apples 2 out of 220, or grain 6 out of 100, or fish 8 out of 80. Well, um, you can turn these food items or raw materials in to these various buildings here. I don't remember what accepts what, honestly. Oh, my house might be done. Oh! There it goes. Yes, you can build houses in this game. Building not ready. So I guess I have to do this a number of times. But yes, you'll be able to go into houses. Uh, you can. There's, I think, one of four houses that you can build. Um, and you can, I think, have all four houses on your property if you want to. And um, you'll be able to go inside them, customize them, and all that jazz. All right, let's just turn in all my stuff that I can. I'll be getting gems. According to chat, Nev says that there's also tickets and gold nuggets, which I don't think I've seen yet. Again, I'm not as far ahead as some other people are. All right, so apparently there's a way to turn in mushrooms, but I guess I don't have that structure yet. Let's activate my... Q activate your build menu. As you can see, there's a number of different crops. Now... Again, these crops will unlock as you level up, but at the same time, there's four seasons, and certain crops are only available during certain seasons. So, uh, let's look for buildings, and we'll look for, like, okay, mushroom stand is 25 gems. Um, so, we, if we buy it, it's 25 gems and 50 XP. If we sell goods, it's 8 gems and 25 XP. I'm looking on the bottom right there. Trade each one minute. Okay, so let's go ahead and buy one, and we'll put that, hmm, I guess we'll put that somewhere over here. Not enough resources. That's weird. I wonder if because I used it? Yeah, 20 out of 70. Okay, so I need to fill up on mushrooms now. And there's also something else I need to unload too. Um, there's mushroom stand, flower stand, I wonder what that resource is. Oh, it, honeycomb, that might be it. I've got this over here, but I don't think I have a honeycomb. There's peanuts, there's a well. The well just gives you money every so often. Oh, I've got it over here, honeycomb. Neb says that there's an, uh, and there's a chance of you getting a golden nugget whenever you harvest anything. Okay. All right. So how does one turn in honeycomb? Honey stand. Okay. Well, I figured that. Now, if I could find the honey, there it is. Honey stand. I need ten ribbons. Oh, I hate that. But every time we sell honey here, we'll also get a ribbon. So it might be a way to generate stuff. So we'll go ahead and buy it for now. And we'll just put that here. I actually uh, deleted both. I actually deleted all my honey-related stuff because it was so not worth it. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. But I, have, I have four ribbons now to my name. Yeah. So you generate honey from the honey thing over here, the honeycomb. Oh. And then you turn that honey in over here. Got it. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's continue harvesting. So your tractor uses fuel. You can see that in the upper left-hand corner there. And you can put down gas stations to fill up your fuel. And again, I say this for the benefit of those that are watching this for the first time. Uh, if you've seen me play this game before, then you know this already. But... On the right-hand side, you can see there are certain quests that you can work toward. Usually, it's just collecting a certain item by planting it. According to Nev, the higher level your character is, the more gas you hold. At max level, you need three gas stations, not fuel depots, to fill your tractor. 
So I'm guessing the gas stations are the larger version? Yes. And I've got fuel depots. That's good. All right, as far as feeding animals, if you look on the bottom left-hand corner, you can see when they will yield whatever it is that they're programmed to yield. Uh, there's a little bar, a circular bar on the bottom left. If I feed them, you'll see it's now yellow. And you'll see a little timer counting down. So those are my little rabbits. I think these are my favorites, the Dutch rabbits. You can also harvest without the tractor, but it's just easier. You can also put down just random items like so. Again, there's a huge build menu here, multiple tabs to cycle through. Uh, there's a lot. I would I would spend all day showing you everything, but um, again, this game is 20 bucks in case you're curious on Steam. So for the amount of hours one could possibly put into this, do I think it's worth it? Yes, if you're willing to invest in it. If you're willing to take the time to level up and do everything, then yes, it's definitely worth it. Not to call her out, but I think Idly has over a thousand hours. And around. If you, around. And if you do the math on that, you can you can basically guess it's like what... I, well, I'm not going to do the math, but is it like one penny per minute? I don't know, just... The amount of the amount of playtime you got out of this versus how much it cost. That's it has five thousand hours. That's like going to the movies and them paying you to watch the movie. <laughs> yeah. It's a grind fest though, it really is. Mm hmm That's if you like leveling up. There are some people that play solely for the decorating and the building. Mm-hmm. And then there's some people that Again, log in for two seconds to harvest one thing and then log back <laughs> out again. Uh huh. Because he has too many games and doesn't have time to play this. <laughs> but it's looking good so far. I see it. You're coming along. Trying. I gotta admit, like, the graphics are beautiful. Everything's. It's cartoony, yes, but it's also very beautiful. It's just. I love the way everything looks. Especially at night when there's a fire at a fire pit or something. Let's get more gas. You can see how much gas you have in the upper left hand corner in case I didn't mention it before. Um, we should probably work toward completing our quests. Uh, lettuce. We need pear trees. I've already got... I've got every type of tr tree planted, I believe. Wheat. We need wheat. Okay, so if, if wheat is available, I need to plant that. You can, ha I believe, have up to three quests at a time. You can also water your plants, but it's not necessary. Watering, I believe, just makes their growth timer go down. So that you don't have to wait as long to harvest it. But again, if you're not on all that much, it doesn't really matter. By the time you log back in, it should be done. <laughs> some crops take days. Some take five minutes. Some take two hours. It depends on what you plant. And again, not all crops are available all the time. Some are only available during the winter season. Some are only available during summer. So all I'm doing right now is I'm planting wheat for my quest. Pretty simple. Alright, let's check up on the fishies. Yes, you can have fish in this game. No, you don't need these walls. That's just me being obsessive compulsive. But these fish count toward your fish inventory. And again, you can sell them at those stands over there. And usually by turning in these, these raw goods at these stands, you're getting 
XP or gems or even possibly ribbons. Depends on what it is. And if you happen to run out of room on your farm, you can unlock new areas, too. Uh, you spend money to do that. Like, here's a little bulletin board over here. If you just go over to it, and you'll see what you need. Buy property, 225 gems. Not going to do it. I've got 2.52k, so I've got, I've got enough. I just, I don't need the extra room right now. Now, as far as harvesting trees, it's the same process. Just look for the little baskets, like this one here. It looks like they've updated the art on some of these, too. It's bamboo. Alright, so remind me, hun, what is the benefit of a crop leveling up? You get more money and more XP out of it okay. as it levels up. Figured. Mm -hmm. Okay. They've also released um, a bunch of new trees and crops and stuff. Ah. I guess I have to go back through my list. Alright, I'm out of gas, so I gotta pick these by hand. And I've got a bunch of animals down here. Yes, I've got a big open area here for more trees to go down, so... I'm one of those people that like to plan ahead, if possible. Mm -hmm. Alright, looks like we can harvest. I'm guessing these are truffles. Mm-hmm. Uh, mushrooms. Yeah, whatever. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Tractors can jump over things now. Yeah. It still takes pretty long. <laughs> And before you folks decide to go animal happy, keep in mind that feeding animals does cost gold coins. So it's a good idea to get your income going with your crops first and then slowly make your way into farming animals. That's just my advice to you. You do what you want. Farmhands uh, feed animals as well. Nice. Mm -hmm. Does it cost it's money? So helpful. I don't remember. Um, probably. <laughs> but it's it's definitely very helpful. I planted one of everything around all my farm hands, and they've eventually been completing my quests for me. Oh nice. Without me having to do anything. Cool. <laughs> it's pretty great. <laughs> you see what I mean by the nightlife folks? I mean I, I love these I love these little uh lamp posts and everything looks just pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. The pumpkin fences for the event emit um, such great light. I love it. But you have to um, plant pumpkins, uh, well, harvest pumpkins to get it, that decor. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think I've showed you everything on my farm. Uh, let's turn these in real quick. Oop. Not what I wanted. Okay, well this is a good... If you want to recycle tiles, just hit X. There you go. I do that often. Yeah. At least you get half of it back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you've got millions of coins, what difference does it make? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think we're good. And again, this stone house will be built. There's a timer in the bottom left. It says 22 hours, 46 minutes. I'm assuming that... Once that's done counting down, I'll have to left click on it again, and then another, another timer will start, and eventually the house will be built. Let's then uh, visit some other people's farms. All right, so we're going to exit. 
and show you the multiplayer aspect. Now, whenever you harvest another person's crops, you don't actually get to keep their inventory, but you do earn um, some, I think, XP for that. I'm not sure if you earn money as well, but I think it's just XP. And you fill your boost meter as well. Ah. Please harvest Which... the crops. Please plow after harvesting. Please feed the animals. I'm currently away. Oh, that's cool. So you can leave little signs for newcomers. Yeah, they're all fixed though. Like they're they're super pre-made. Oh, are they? Yeah. Tree cabin. Let's go inside. This is a good opportunity to show you the different houses in the game. And again, you'll be able to come in here, and I, I do believe you can actually cook food items. Yep, left click on the stove, for example, and I can make ratatouille, I can make a vegetable omelet, I can make blueberry muffins, fish curry, ugh. <laughs> and something that isn't known yet. Okay. Pretty cool stuff. I mean, I believe the houses were added later. This definitely wasn't around when I first started playing this. Alright, here's a look at another house. It's very bare bones from the looks of it. Best hasn't gotten around to decorating this yet, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. unless, Are you at Bessa's? Yeah, unless he lives like me. And just lives Spartan. <laughs> Modern cottage. And Bessa is saying hi. <laughs> I like how clean this is. It doesn't it doesn't give me the opportunity to show you folks what's in the game, but I I I wholeheartedly approve of how clean it is. <laughs> if you go in the shop in the house, you can see the items, I believe. Mm. That's a lot of trees. The new hollow trees? Yeah. Yeah, they look awesome at night. <laughs> Their mouths glow and everything. Yeah. You have to harvest 10,000 pump, uh, cursed pumpkins to unlock them. Oh, that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Hi, right, Bessa, how's it going? There's a photo mode, too. Yeah, there we go. Hit escape, click photo mode. And if I want to zoom out, it is right mouse. There we go. So if I want to see the entire farm at a glance, I can do that. I love it. It's like drone mode. Yeah. How one maintains a farm of this size is beyond <laughs> me. Like I, this would this would be a full time job for me. Seriously, I, I I could not do this. I applaud people's dedication. That's for sure. So what do you use the golden tickets for? Uh, to renew the contracts on your farm hands and to purchase furniture for your houses. Mm.
How many people does he have in his farm now? That was like 16 people. It was crazy. Uh, there's just me and Bessa, I think. Oh, okay. And a uh, bunch of characters. I'm guessing maybe a Japanese, Chinese. Oh, uh, yeah. I like that you can interact with stuff, too. Yeah. In the houses. You can sit on the couch. They released a, a, a new treadmill. If you can run on it, it's really funny. <laughs> okay, I don't see where the build menu is, unless it's not active on his house. Oh yeah, it says action not allowed when yeah. you try to do it. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, let me jump to... are you on your farm? Yes, I am. I figured. Uh, let's go back. And we'll show you her farm, and then we'll call it. Find farms. Friends. There you go. You're in the hole, two point one five billion. No, that's for that's a bug where anyone who has over like a billion, I see, uh, shows up as negative too. It's so stupid. Mm. I'd say you, the bank is gonna come knocking pretty soon. <laughs> I know. Remember to sign the guest book. So there's a guest book. It's sort of like something that you can leave behind. But I don't think you can leave a specific message. It's just you pick one of these pre-scripted ones. Yeah. Um, so I can just do... Well, it's definitely not neat and tidy. Um, <laughs> how about... Good taste. That's debatable. Uh, oh my god. Your farm is lo not lovely. <laughs> Keep it... No, I don't want to just encourage that. It was fun. Uh, so we're like... No, I OCD. Uh, a hug. 11 out of 10... Um, hi. There we go. Hi. That's that's neutral, right? That's a neutral kind of compliment. Hi. Right. So, totally not offensive. Okay, so we're here. Did you, see the new, did you see the new faces? I got the new face and the new outfit for the, from the supporters pack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> did you buy that or is that from the key I gave you? That was from the key. Okay. So this is the Halloween event, I'm guessing. These trees. Yeah. All right, into the stone house. Um, you have you have full permission, so you can see in the uh, in the the shop in the house and stuff. Okay. So I'm not going to build anything, but I will show the folks what you can build: a synthesizer, modern cooker, piano, easel, cooker. Those are for tickets. Like, you use those to get tickets. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Furniture. Modern bathtub. Modern shower. Is there a chessboard? No, unfortunately. Aww. It's not The Sims. <laughs> I tried. Heater. I'm going to get me like 50 of those. <laughs> TV remote. I'm always cold. Lamps. I built my sauna in, in thinking of you. A sauna. Yeah. yeah. That's what was featured on the Steam page. <laughs> uh, I know. You're so proud of that. I am. <laughs> it's sad. <laughs> you're going to put that on your resume and be like, I did this. Hire me. Yes. This this sunflower on the this rug freaks me out. Why? <laughs> it's staring into my soul. I don't like it. No reflection. I'm a vampire. <laughs> so what's the what's the pencil mean? Does that mean I can interact with the house? Yes. Yes. It's part of the stage. It's it's ready. Like there's one stage of it that's ready. Ah. The, the pink boxes means it's fully ready. I'm going to throw up. 
Why? <laughs> so many unicorns. Why are the unicorns? I don't know. Because they're there. <laughs> you can't oh, jump wait. on the bed, but you can... It, can you see me rotate? I don't know if, if it'll work. Let me see if it'll work. I can't. I can't do anything. Oh, darn. No, I don't see it. Darn, never mind. It used to be that I could rotate myself in the bed, but oh well. They probably fixed it. The piano and the easels and the stoves are all actually out of place in every house because I didn't feel like walking too far. <laughs> Makes sense. So the pencil in that house means there's something ready in that house that you can interact with? Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Are you cooking something? I was. <laughs> That's impressive. The treadmill isn't even moving. <laughs> I'm running in place. The diner. <laughs> it's very homey. Yeah. It's kind of like a bed and be breakfast. I like it. And these are actually coffee tables, but they look like seats. <laughs> so you put all this in yourself? Like, you you designed it and everything? Yeah, I did. Why? Is oh, it no. bad? Is it ugly? No, it's just... That's de dedication, like I said. Some people... <laughs> Have the time to do this. Yeah, it took forever. Bessa <laughs> says you need to decorate his house because... Aww. This is the sauna. <laughs> and this is... Okay. It's very bright. Yeah. It's hot in here. <laughs> we'll go with that. Does this cost you money or gems or both? Yes. Yeah, the, all the tickets. You see all the tickets I have? It costs at least like 30,000 tickets more. Than what I have, it's crazy. Ah. This is a very red room. Yeah, this is the Christmas room. <laughs> the Christmas. So you're only in here like one month <laughs> of the year. Yeah, I'm waiting <laughs> for the Christmas decoration. This is the kids. Well, I want to see kids. Room. Your imaginary kids. I know. No, this is this this is more of an adult room, but blue. <laughs> The little bathroom bin. Yeah. And then this is the master bedroom with its own bathroom. Again with the sunflower. <laughs> oh, I can't take a shower. No, <laughs> but you can sit on the toilet. <laughs> Shouldn't I at least put the lid up? I don't know, I guess. <laughs> did you see the farmhouse? Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Totally did. Oh, did you see the new gold decorations? The gold? Yeah. Oh my. Follow the yellow brick road indeed. Yeah. My gosh. Scrooge McDuck over here. Yeah. They're so expensive. They cost like... Really? Anywhere... I would never have guessed. <laughs> each fence and each path is one to two ribbons. Um, let me see. The rubber ducky, the golden rubber ducky, is 75 ribbons. It's ridiculous. Well, it is a grindy game. Yeah, I still don't have enough. It's crazy. Um... Oh, oh, oh! Um, what was I gonna say? I think... I think you saw my farmhouse. I did. Pretty okay. sure. Okay. Um, if you go up to point five, <laughs> you're gonna love point five. What's point five? What are you talking about? It's heaven. No, you have to go to it! Oh, you're gonna use photo mode. <laughs> When you say point five, you mean the fast travel it's, system yes. five? Yes. 
Yes. Okay, all right. Where is the fast travel? You just bring up the map, and then you click on the number. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I forgot about this. Five. <laughs> One of each animal? Yeah. They don't kill each other? I guess not. <laughs> okay. And then with this one, I try to make it look a little bit neater. Doing grass only animals and putting up some. Sort this of is <laughs> chaos! No, it's not! It's a slaughterhouse! <laughs> Why are the fences the way they. Like, there's. Okay. The, fen the fences are the way they are because without them. It would have the green line, like separating a tiny bit of grass to separate the species. So I just put. That I don't through. follow. Why red over here? Because it's a different. It, this covers a different farmhand area. So you you colored your fences based on the farmhand's reach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Why? I have to do the same thing on the other it's, side it's, with the chickens. I'm having flashbacks to just... I used to have a friend that would show me their stamp collection. And I'm like, yeah? That's great. Good job. Yes. It's a beautiful stamp collection. No, no, I don't think this is crazy. <laughs> no, no. What are you talking about? This is beautiful stuff. It's beautiful. That's <laughs> terrible. Oh. Oh you should see, uh, you should see point six if you think that's bad. Uh, <laughs> this is gonna get, this is gonna get worse and worse. Oh, you've yeah, got, probably. again, these fish, they should have... The sharks should have at least killed half this population by now. There are no sharks. The sharks are on point thirteen with the piranha <laughs> and the anglerfish. The pro yeah, I mean, the swordfish would have impaled how many things? <laughs> and the mix of flowers are here too. <laughs> it's just tons of mixtures everywhere. Does it bother you that I'm only fishing for one fish? No, because it counts as every single fish. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. So wherever you fish, it'll just... It'll just take one randomly, whichever's ready. <laughs> oh, so it's not the one that you're standing on. I don't think so. Maybe. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> so what else am I looking at? What, what else is new? Anything? Uh, yeah. Let me look. <laughs> am I gonna- am I- is oh, it, Are you gonna be bothered if I plant more apple trees? Yes. Please do not do that. There's no, there should be no space, no tile space for apple I'll trees. I'll find so please, one. Please do not delete anything. No, I covered every single you thing. You literally <laughs> covered every single thing. Every- there's no way. There's no way that you accounted for every single space in this farm. I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> I'm challenge accepted. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> There's no way that you accounted for every single. There's Do no way. Do not delete anything. <laughs> I did. I did not delete anything. I did not do anything I'm of the sort. Looking... Oh my gosh! What? I just saw you on your stream. What? I didn't do nothing. I was looking at the different crops. I was showing the people at home what they could plant, what they couldn't plant. I did not, not do anything. Not, not. Bro. Bro, you don't <laughs> even know. You don't even know. Like this farmhand, you don't need him. Oh my gosh, don't you dare. <laughs> He's very expensive. I won't uh, be able to buy him again. <laughs> oh, is that right? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> he costs like 60-something ribbons. They increase. The price um, amount for each farmhand increases as you buy them. Really? Yeah, and you can only have, I believe, 15 at once. So, yeah. 
That's crazy. Might. Just farm hands, like the amount of stuff that you need for that to, I don't know. <laughs> I I'll never get there. Yeah, you will. One day. I have like five ribbons to my name. That's good. Good stuff. One one of these days they'll make it so that people can give uh, money and stuff like that. I'll give you a bunch of uh, stuff to help you out. Are you sure they're going to do that? The developers? I don't know. Okay. I'm praying for it. Did they... <laughs> Did they give you the ability to terraform land or to remove no. rocks or anything like that? Unfortunately, they said it's a hard no, but uh, okay. I still have hope. Oh, if you go to the pawn shop, you can also show the folks what's new at the pawn shop. What's the pawn shop? Uh, it's it's by point twenty two. It's at point twenty two. It should be. It's where you trade your golden nuggets for anything. Ah, oh, that's new. Mm -hmm. So, Golden Nugget, you can get badges, you can get money, you can get any type of crop, fish, tickets, gems, okay. Mm -hmm. And there's a small chance of you getting Golden Nuggets just by doing something around your farm. Yeah, I believe um, you can spend it now because um, you have full permissions. Nah, that's alright, I'm not going to do that. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh, it's nighttime. If you want, you can visit point eight and see the pumpkin fences light up. Pumpkin fences. Mm -hmm. I see it. They're really pretty. They don't cost that much either, and I think it's hard. Are they permanent though? Like, will they stay? Yes. Okay. Yes, they are permanent. If you unlock them, they're permanent. I believe the hollow trees are permanent as well, and the witch hat. Does it bother you that the hollow trees are all facing a different direction? No. I was actually going to go crazy and make them all face in one direction, but I just didn't feel like doing that. <laughs> Bessa <laughs> says, though. we wish. I think in response <laughs> to being able to delete stuff and terraform. Yes. There, um, I think it's the most... The Farm Together has an official suggestion page. And that, I think, is the second most suggested with 600 votes, I believe. Mm. The most suggested is with 800 votes, being that um, a lot of people want houses for, like, different animals. Like, maybe not houses, but buildings. Does your farmhand not feed the animals? Not yet. I haven't paid him. He's on vacation. <laughs> but yes, he would feed, feed the animals if I paid him. Oh, I just did. Sorry. That's okay. No, don't. It's fine. You have to pay mm -hmm. tickets? Wow. For him, yeah. You have 48.45k tickets, so it's not like you're hurting for tickets. No, but I leave them on vacation because people are visiting me a lot for this event. Okay. So if they want an XP booster, they can do it themselves. But honestly, it doesn't matter. They take forever doing it, so it's whatever. Do they? <laughs> Yeah, and you can stack, you can stack the contract so that they can work up to eight hours, I believe. So wait, they only work for two hours. Oh, I. Well, it says one hour. So I guess every every time you click on them, it's one hour. Is it? I thought it was two hours. My bad. Well, it says fifty nine minutes and three seconds in the timer. So, and oh, it looks yeah. like it goes up to a max of four. Oh, they must have changed it then. It used to be eight. Because the bar is filled one fourth of the way. Yeah. So if yeah. I fill it up three more times, it'll be four Go ahead. hours. Fill it up. Let me see. I'm curious now. <laughs> yep. There it is. I can't oh, build that's... three hours, 50. Yep. Oh, that stinks. They really decreased it. It used to be 24 hours, just one-time payment, and then they decreased it to 8 hours, and now I guess they decreased it again. That really stinks. So it's basically like a 4-hour crop that you have to maintain. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. But folks will be happy to know that you can alt-tab in this game, let things happen. So yeah. that way people can come to your farm, do work for you, earn stuff for it. There were a few Facebook games that let you do that way back in the day, but this one is probably definitely preferred. Graphics are nicer, more to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. You don't have to pay real money, which is pretty great. That like too. That. 
All right, folks, so there you go. Uh, the look at uh, Farm Together, at least the release build of it. Uh, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, you may want to, just so you can see how my farm got to where it is now. Um, if you guys haven't already, subscribe to my channel and check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince and Idalee. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys.